Hi, it's Brie Hall and welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, it's that time again. Somebody had to do it. Somebody had to take one for the team and today it's going to be me because today is that long process known as wash day. Today's wash day video is also sponsored by hair.com. Now you might wonder why I look like somewhat of a wilted pineapple at the moment and that is because I did a twist out and I never looked back. And I know a lot of us have been there before. Left it in the twist for a while, finally took the twist down, was like, hmm, this is cute. Got some gel buildup and now I cannot show my edges on camera. I'm also going to be doing something. We're gonna be straining my hair today. I know. Uh, see what what's happening here? Let's see. I'm scared this is not gonna fall down. <laughs> no, uh, my fear was right. I'm a weeping willow. So I don't know if this is the side I sleep on, but sis is starting to lock. It is confirmed. I might be the first YouTuber to have an unintentional lock video. Hey, this don't look half bad, y'all. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put this back up now. So if you haven't, I already have a video up on my channel where I show y'all how I prep for straining my hair. But for the sake of dramatic effect, I will now insert this montage. All right, y'all, so I am back and I'm aware that it is probably several eternities later. I am going to go ahead and take off my scarf right now. All right, so I blow dry my hair, but as you know, it kind of reverted a little because I did put it in braids. I'm going to touch up my blow dry a little bit and then we're going to get started. Y'all, so as you can see, I sectioned these two sections. So today I'll be trying out the L'Oreal Professional Steam Pod. Now let's get into some product claims. The L'Oreal Professional Steam Pod claims to be two times faster and make the hair two times smoother. It also claims to result in 91% less breakage, along with color protection and incomparable shine. This is what you'll see when you first open the box and inside you have the straightener along with instructions as well as this refill bottle. And this is what the device looks like fresh out of its packaging. When styling, I usually use a separate comb, but what's cool about the steam pod is it actually comes with this removable comb attachment that slides in and out just like you see here. And this is what it looks like up close. Right here is the water tank and you use this refill bottle that comes with the packaging in order to refill it. Then I take off the rubber stopper and you see a little hole and that's where you would insert the water. Next we have the device controls which is the on and off switch as well as the temperature adjustment. To start off this video we're going to do a little test to see how the L'Oreal Professional Steam Pod performs with no steam and no comb attachment versus with steam. So this side we're doing no steam and no comb. Without the steam and the comb attachment, of course, the ends are very straggly. Oh, it did get pretty straight. It's just, I like the chase method. So I'm gonna come back and try this with the steam and the comb attachment to see what the difference is. I'm actually gonna go ahead and fill up the steam chamber and we've got this nice little bottle that comes with everything and I'm gonna just put it right in here and squeeze. Oh yeah, this is pretty easy and quick to fill. Let's see if it's almost at the max level and we got it right to the line. So about a third of the bottle to get to the max filling point, which is good. So you probably get three fills out of the bottle. I made sure to turn everything off. So the steam piece is back in. I'm gonna fire this back up and I'm also using this at 410. Ooh, it heats up very fast. What I like is the steam pod has arrows so that you're making sure you go in the right direction. So I'm gonna get as close as I can to the scalp area here. I'm gonna go nice and slow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, there's a huge difference. My hair on this side is very, very, very soft. And it's like, it doesn't feel dry. Like the side where I didn't use the steam actually, like it still got straight and it feels like a standard flat iron, but um, again, the comb attachment didn't, since it wasn't there, it didn't get the ends. So here's the difference. This is the, the ends got much straighter. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Do y'all see the difference? Cause I definitely see the difference. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair with the steam. I'm, I'm obsessed with how like 
soft my hair feels y'all it doesn't have that rough rough feeling that sometimes you get when you straighten your hair all right y'all let's go straighten the back of my hair i'll come back when i get to the front Alright y'all, so we are finally at the finish line for this. Um, this is my hair. I just gave myself a trim a little bit as well. And I just finished straightening. I haven't bumped the ends, I haven't curled it or anything. A little bit here, but not really. This is just like straight out the flat iron and I put on a little bit of edge control as you can see. Um, so my hair, as some of y'all know, is kind of like lasagna. It's always better the second day. So I like to put a little bit of oil on my ends and really wrap it very very well so when I'm when I take the silk scarf off like the next day the heat from my scalp and everything kind of just melts everything together and again I want to point out that my hair is not heat trained y'all at all like I only straighten my hair maybe twice a year ish sometimes three times a year if I'm feeling frisky and y'all see how tight my curl pattern is um, my hair has grown a ton. I want to say this is about tailbone length. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below also. So I timed myself from beginning to end of this process, y'all. Are you ready for this, okay? What I will say, I think this might be a selling point for some naturals, especially with tighter curl patterns, okay? Think of the number in your head of how long it takes you to straighten your hair. Now, look at this. This is exactly how long it took me to straighten my hair. One hour and 57 minutes, which for me is kind of a new record because usually it takes me closer to three hours, sometimes four, depending on the tool I'm using. So one hour and 57 minutes, I think is the fastest time I've done yet. Love y'all so much. I'll see you in my next video. If you want to check out more, definitely check out my description box and peace out, gang gang. I will see you in my next video. 